Good afternoon. I am on the Stranmullis Road and the Ashby Institute is up there. Chlorine Gardens and my dentist are just up there as well. And this is Friars Bush Cemetery. Botanic Gardens and the Ulster Museum are obviously down here as well. So people are looking at me thinking I'm mad. This is I've walked past this cemetery thousands of times, literally, because I went to Stranmullis College and uh, thousands of students walk past this every day and don't realise what is behind the gates. This cemetery is one of the oldest in Belfast, if not in the whole of uh, Northern Ireland and possibly even in the whole of Ireland. Don't know. Uh, there we are. Tours of Fresh, uh, Friarsbush uh, Cemetery are as you see before you. And this is the uh, information board as regards Fresh Friarsbush Friars Bush Cemetery Graveyard. It says uh, one of the most ancient burial grounds uh, situated beside us Museum, 350 metres from River Lagan. It is a place that is steeped in mystery Whoa. and has fascinated generations of Belfast citizens. Um, some believe that the site of Friarsbush may have been used pre Christian times or that it was linked to St Patrick's. St. Patrick died 490. This theory is partly supported by two unusual stones on the central mound of the graveyard. One of the mysterious friar stones bears the date 485. So there you are now. You heard it first from Tom McLean, your roving reporter. Our knowledge of the history of friars burst from early Christian period until the end of the 16th century is scant. Although place name evidence suggests the existence of a church or friary in medieval times. However, it is known that Friars Bush was used as a place of worship by Catholic population of Belfast from 1600s until 1784, when St Mary's Chapel, Belfast's first Catholic church, opened in Crooked Lane, now Chapel Lane. And there's all about the burial ground. And I'm not going to read that through and fever was rife in the 19th century and during the major cholera epidemic Friars Bush was used as a cholera pit that's not very nice a uh, low massy ground close to the entrance is still known as the Plaguery Hill Hi folks, back again I'm up in the Ulster Museum and I knew that this uh, overhead view was available because I, I used to come up to the wee shop um, the wee tea shop up here uh, and this is a view down into Friars Bush uh, Cemetery it is extremely difficult to get into this cemetery you have to jump through hoops to actually uh, actually get the privilege and, uh, and, and I know the sun's not not good on the old uh, lens here but nevertheless I think it's worthwhile uh, shooting a wee video of it. Some of these graves date from the 1700s. Um, along with Clifton Street Cemetery this is probably one of the uh, if not the oldest cemetery in the whole of uh, Northern Ireland. So there you go. Uh, come for a wee visit. We walk round on the 10th of February 10 o'clock at the cemetery gates and Adrian from Botanic Gardens will show you round and I hope to be there.